sitting here with the driver, Yannick Jingrell. We're going to touch on a few horses that you have coming up, but first I want to flip the program back a few races. Uh, ordained there, he was bet down to 3-5. to five. I know I had him as my best bet of the night, and he just looked like he got tracked down late there by Prominence. Yeah, I knew going to the first turn was going to be hard. I saw that uh, Prominence got away up close. Um, you know, he, I, I thought he raced pretty good, but she, she's a really nice filly, and, uh, you know, once she, once she got away fourth, I knew uh, it was going to be tough to beat her. Now, if you're coming up, I'm pretty sure all of them here are for Ronnie Burke. In race eight, you have Warrior One, who's coming off of a win in a class below this last week, and he's really been facing tough company all season long, uh, really all over the place, but he looks like he's in another good spot here tonight. Yeah, I think he's going in the right direction. Uh, he's getting better, and, you know, if... Uh, like uh, four, five, six months ago, he would have been one to nine in, in, uh, against these horses. But, uh, you know, he had a tough spell there for a bit. But, uh, like I said, I think he's turning the corner, and I, I think he fits in here pretty good. In race 10, into the Mystic Moon for Ronnie Burke, taking a drop in class tonight after uh, facing some invites company at Yonkers. What do you make of the chances tonight? She's a really nice mare, actually. Uh, she won the division at the matchmaker early in the year, and she got hurt. So, uh, I mean, she missed a lot of time. So, like, you know, she was going to need a few starts to, to be uh, back in shape. But I think that all systems should be good tonight. You know, she's had some starts. She's down in class. So uh, it's time to, uh, to show what she can do. In race 11, the three twin B Empress. A win last time out here at the Big M. So she's going to have to step up in class. Yeah, no, it's a step in class. There's a couple of n nice mare in there. But uh, she raced really good last week. Um, you know, we'll try to get her position and uh, s see what she can do. But uh, there's no doubt she fits well in here. Like I said, there's a, there's a couple on the, on the nice mare, uh, on the nice mares in here as well. Combs Hanover in the 12th had 10 months off, so he's making his third start back off of the layoff and second last week from post nine. What did you think of that effort and his chances tonight? I think it's rock and roll tonight. I think he's ready. Yeah, I thought he raced really, really good last week. He's a class horse. Uh, you know, same thing with him. You no, know, down in class, third start back. Um, it's time to show what he's got. And in the finale, fight night from post eight, making his second start for the Burke Brigade. I used hard last week from post eight just to finish fourth there outside post to work with again tonight. Does it all systems go again? Yeah, I think, you know, actually, if you look at his race last week, you, know, you had missed a month, finished fourth, just got beat a couple length. But if you look at the three horses that beat him, uh, they're all in the Valley Victory and, and those races to, and uh, Goldsmith made tomorrow night. So there's, there's no such horses in this race tonight. Um, you know, so I, I think he should be pretty good. Uh, I, I was happy with his performance last week. He just got beat by a horse that were better than him, and uh, he should be tighter tonight. And, uh, yes, all systems are go. Thanks, Ian. Good luck tonight. All right. Thank you so much.